If you've ever wanted to gain more organic traffic and do so by reaching a multilingual audience, today I'm gonna to share with you a WordPress translation plugin that automatically translates your site pages in a matter of minutes. Now there are over a hundred different languages that are available to you and there is no coding at all required on your part. Now while this plugin does a good job at translating the content, you're also going to be given the ability to review and manage the translations from a single dashboard. And if you ever want anyone else to be able to step in and help edit those translations for you, you'll be able to give them access as well. Now this plugin is going to give you an SEO friendly foreign language version of your website. Website. So this is perfect for business owners who want to be able to translate their websites and be able to reach a multilingual audience and expand their traffic. But this is also perfect for you web designers and SEOs out there who want to help their clients with more organic traffic and really expanding who they are able to serve. So today I'm going to show you how to get started for free with this plugin called Convey This. We're going to look at how to get this installed and translate your pages in a matter of minutes. So we're going to jump over to a live site so you can see how this translation actually turns out. So as you can see over here on the Convey This website, there are actually a lot more integrations than just WordPress. So if you're ever working on a website like WordPress or Shopify, Elementor, Joomla, any of these popular platforms, you'll also be able to use Convey This to easily translate your website. And the process that I'm about to show you is going to be pretty much the same for all of these platforms. So what you wanna do is create your own account. And as I said, you can get started for free just by clicking on the start now button. A free account is going to allow you to select one language to translate your website into, and you can always upgrade your account if you decide to have additional languages. Once you have logged into your Convey This account, what we'll need to do is pop in the domain name here and then select the website technology. And we'll click on next step. And now this is gonna walk us through the process of actually setting this up on our website, which is very simple and straightforward. So all we need to do is jump over to our website and from our dashboard, we're going to go to plugins and add new. And this is where we're gonna search for the convey this plugin. So here it is, we'll install it now and then we'll activate it. Now that we can see the plugin has been activated, we can also see that it has not yet been configured. So that's what we wanna do next. So we'll click on the configuration page and this is gonna be the one and only page you need to go through and adjust settings in order to add this to your website. So the first thing we need to do is add in our API key. Luckily, this is very easy. We can pop back over to our convey this account and this is going to show us our API key, which we can now copy pop back over and then we can paste that right back in here on our website. And now we need to select the source language, which in this case is English. So this is whatever language your website is written in. And then we need to select the language we want to translate it to. So we're gonna add in Spanish and let's say we wanna add in French, German, and Portuguese. So now we have those four languages added. So as you can see here, we have a preview of how this is actually going to appear on our website. And if we select that, now we can see all of the languages that we just added in. And we also see this powered by convey this, and I'll show you how you can remove that if you want to. So here we have the option of how we can customize this widget. So we are gonna click on show more options, and we'll scroll down here and take a look at the general settings here. So this is going to allow you to automatically show the translated pages based on the visitor's browser settings. So if their browser settings is set to Spanish, for example, it will automatically present them with the Spanish version of your page. If you would like them to do that, you can click on yes. If you want to hide this, convey this link here, you can select yes, but you'll need the upgraded plan in order to do so. You can also choose to translate media here. And even if you have PDF files on your website, you can click yes here and it will translate those as well for you, which is really, really neat. You can also change the direction from left to right or right to left, depending on that language there. And for SEO, you can add the href language tags to all the pages. 
if you choose. And under customized languages, you're gonna be able to choose if you want to have this actually appear in the menu. If you do, you're gonna to go to appearance and then menus. And if you wanna set it up as a widget, so let's say in the footer of your website or on the sidebar, you can go to appearance and widget and then set that there as well. Now, if there's a different location that you wanna add this to your website, you can also use this short code right here as well. Now, this is where we really start to be able to style or customize this. So as you can see here, we have a rectangular flag. If we wanted to change this to a square flag or a circle flag, even no flag at all, we can do that. We'll leave that as a circle here. And if we wanna have the full text being English or even just the short text or no text and just show the flag, we can customize that as well. So we'll leave that as full text. And now we can customize the color. So we can customize the background, which is currently white. We can customize this light gray when we hover over here, even the border color and the text color as well. So this is gonna allow you to match this look to the look of your website. So it really looks like it's just made for your website. We can also change the corner. So now we have this more rounded look, which is nice. And we can choose to have a fixed or a custom position of where you want this to appear. Now you'll also be able to change this location. If for instance, the, this widget is typically on the bottom right hand side of a website. If you want it to appear at the top or you want it to appear, let's say at the bottom left, you'll be able to use these settings to customize that. Now the same for the spacing or the indentation here. If you wanna have more vertical space, uh, when you have a zero pixel space, you're gonna have it sitting on the very bottom of the website or the screen. And so if we wanna add in, let's say, let's get this up to maybe 15, just so it stands out a little bit more, then we can do that. And then you're also gonna to wanna to look at the URL structure for the, the different foreign language versions of your website. So in this case, if you wanna have Spanish, which is abbreviated ES, then you can have this as a subdirectory. So it'd be yourwebsite.com forward slash ES. The other alternative is to have this as a subdirectory, which would be es.yourwebsite.com. So I'm gonna leave this as a subdirectory, and then you can choose how you want that to appear. And if you want for any reason to change the icons here, these logos for any of the flags, you'll be able to do that here. I'm happy with just leaving it as is. And lastly, if you want to block any pages, meaning you do not want certain pages to be able to be translated or you don't wanna provide that option for any reason, you can add those pages in right here. And you can always just click this add button in if there's multiple that you wanna be able to add. And then finally, you'll click on save changes. And now that this has been saved, now we can head over to the website and see how this looks because we're ready. And now you can see it is here on the website down here in the bottom right hand corner. So if we click on this for English, now we can see all the other languages that we set up here that convey this logo is gone as well. And now if we like this spacing here at the bottom, we can keep this, I think it looks good. But if we wanted to do anything to make this pop out a little bit, and let's say maybe we want it to be a yellow or we want it to be some of the purple that is just a color throughout this website, we can choose to do that or leave it as is. So once you get a feel for what it looks like on your website, then you can go in and customize it a bit more. But let's do this. Let's scroll down to the blog and let's take this particular post here. So now we have this post. Let's go ahead and have this translated. So we're gonna select on English and let's say, let's put this into Spanish. So now you can see the whole website has been translated. We have the menu up here that has been translated. We have the title that's been translated. We have the actual post. Even as you scroll down a little bit here, you're gonna see even the sidebar posts have been translated here as well. As we go down, the entire translation is done. So now what I wanna show you is if we go back over to the Convey This dashboard, how you're able to make changes to the translations if you decide to. So here we are in this dashboard. What we can do is we can see now the number of words that have been translated. We can see the number of languages we've used. But what we wanna do is come over to domains. And here we're gonna see our website listed and we wanna click on my translations. So now we can see there are two pages that have already been translated for us. 
we are seeing the views there, the number of words that have been translated. And now we have the option to use either a text editor or a visual editor to make these changes. So for the text editor here, we are going to be taken to a dashboard right here within our convey this dashboard. And if we use the visual editor, this is going to take us over to our actual website and we can make the changes there live on a visual editor. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Let's start with the text editor. Here we can see all of the translations that have happened on this particular page. And as you can see, we have a few columns here. We have machine, custom, or pro. So here we have all of the machine translations, which has been done for you. If there's anything that you would like to change, you can simply customize it here. Let's say we're gonna change this to just this part of the text. And now this has switched to custom. So if we want to make any changes, we can. But let's say we have a whole paragraph here and we want to rewrite this completely. We can select custom and we can completely write in a new translation there. Or we can just go into machine and just as I did up here, just make a small translation and then it'll make that update for you on the website. So that is how you're able to do that right here. And if for any reason you would like to have the entire page translated by a professional translator, you can click on Order Pro. So now let's take a look at the live website here and let's see how to make any changes. So here we have the title here. If I wanted to change what this said or change the words that are being used here, I can simply click on this pencil icon. We get this little pop up here and I can make the change right here and then click on save changes. So we'll be able to do the same thing down here with any paragraphs. We can simply click on this pencil icon, make the changes, save them. And when we are done with the entire page, we can click on finish editing. And that is it. That is all you need to do to translate all of your site pages in a matter of minutes with no coding. Very, very easy to do. I hope this was very helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.